much. He had an opportunity to to show that he really wants to be a part of this team. And I don't really think that he showed that, that passion. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Shane Rowe. Guys, come on in. Grab you a cup of Yachty's coffee. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And uh, let's get caffeinated. We got a lot to talk about. Now, the boys won their game against Chelsea at Old Trafford. 2-1. So first and foremost, congratulations. A win's a win, and we got the three points. Now, a good win, especially after a few days of what seemed to be a crisis at United between the media, the players, and the coach. But I'm going to be honest with you. As much as I have my criticism of that game, and I will tell you my criticism of the game, I didn't see players that were in crisis. I didn't see a club that was in crisis. And I didn't see players that didn't want to play for the manager. That's just my opinion. You guys let me know what you saw. Did you see a team that was trying to play in some form of togetherness? That's what I saw. So now let's get on with the meat and potatoes of what happened in the game. We did win our game against Chelsea at Old Trafford and it's always good to get the three points. We move up the table. We're back to number six. I think we still need to wait for uh, Newcastle to have their game. But as of right now, we are at number six. Now we'll go over the team that went out. Onana started a goal, obviously. The lot on the right back position. Then the loft partner with Harry Maguire in the center back. And Luke Shaw was on the left back. Amrabat was the CDM. But I think McTominay was supposed to be a CDM with him or they played as one CDM and McTominay was more like a central midfielder that was able to roam up and down. And uh, Fernandez was the main central attacking midfielder playing more up front behind the, the striker. You thought, but McTominay was up there just as much. And... Uh, in the midfield, Garnacho, Fernandez, McTominay, and Anthony on the right-hand side. And I got to say, I enjoyed seeing Anthony play this game. He really had a point to prove. And uh, no, I, I, I see the fight in him. I see the dog in him. So let's go. And Hoyland saw it up top. Now, guys, I have to be honest with you. From a United fan perspective... I wasn't the happiest in the game, right? From a neutral standpoint, I'm pretty sure it was pretty enjoyable watching the game. I mean, the game was open. And that's the reason that I have some qualms about how we played. As much as we created opportunities, and as you can see from the, the, the momentum chart here, all these big upswings are all good chances that, that we had. So we created... A ton of chances we created 28 total shots nine were on target and we only scored two right and the two goals came again from none other than mr scott mctominay while i've had my criticism of scott mctominay i can't help but to admit that his goals are what has kept us in, in anywhere near any competition, let alone being number six in the Premier League right now. You go back to the momentum chart and you see that Chelsea themselves also had their own opportunities. So all of these little spikes are all of Chelsea's little opportunities for them to score a goal. And you can see right before halftime, they did manage to, to put one in. And again, our... Our defense, as good as they are, they have been chopped and changed. This is the word for the defense, chopped and changed, because Delat, Lindelof, Harry Maguire, and Shaw. And at halftime, I believe he took off Lindelof, put Shaw in at the center-back row, and then brought on Regulon, which was a masterstroke of a move, because Regulon and... Uh, and Garnacho were an absolute menace on that left flank. Chelsea couldn't handle them. And I think 
The first goal, the second goal came from the cross from uh, Garnacho. So he's still providing stuff. He's, if he's not scoring goal, he's providing assists. So I really am enjoying Garnacho on the left side. Anthony on the right side played very well. There was that fight in him. There was that dog in him. He was running up and down the pitch. He came into the middle, covered the middle. It was a good game from an attacking point of view. However, we did not score the chances that we had. And we created nine total shots on target and five of those are big chances. We scored two, but we need to score four. Chelsea was basically in the game all the way up until the end and they almost scored. And if they had scored in the last minute, all that work that the defense did for all this time to try and keep us within touching distance would have been gone out the window because the attacking part of our game is just not working. It's not clicking. Chance creation is there. So for, from my side, you can't say it's the manager. He is the one that is showing the guys how to get the, how to progress the ball down the pitch. But at some point, the players on the pitch have to put the ball in the back of the net. So for me, this, this game highlighted our lack of creating chances, especially against a Chelsea team that were nowhere near the Chelsea of old, but they still couldn't finish them off. Now, regarding Scott McTominay, if we're going to allow Scott McTominay the free roam, or if he's going to play the box-to-box -box role, he has to track back. One goal that Chelsea did score, clearly the manager didn't like something Lindelof did, and he yanked him off which I do believe Lindelof had a part to play inside the, the goal. But let's go a little bit further up the pitch and you see that Scott McTominay just let him walk through the middle to, to eventually get the shot off. So can Amrabat do it himself from a defensive midfielder point of view against a better team? Because this another team that created as much chances as Chelsea did, I would have taken the game away from us. We wouldn't have come out with the win, not 2-1. And the problem is we are not taking our chances, right? With all this being said, I do want to go back and I want to say that we did play some good football at times. The passes were crisp, the, the movements were sharp, the players looked like they were playing for each other. Even after the Bruno Bruno penalty miss, no one really let their head get down. They still kept going and they kept going and they kept going. So that is always good to see. I think that they came out to prove a point, especially to the media, to let them know that we are playing together. The one thing I did notice is that Rashford came on and he didn't really offer much. He had an opportunity to, to show that he really wants to be a part of this team. And I don't really think that he showed that, that passion. Even in the last 10 minutes, the game was still there to be won. So you guys let me know what you think. Do you think Rashford made any, any bit of a difference? Hoyland, I hope he's fit. I hope he stays fit. Because if he does, I'm telling you, once it starts to click, there's goals in Hoyland. But a good win, good three points. I can't really knock the team on too much. They're a bit open, which we need to kind of tighten up a bit. January is around the corner. Maybe we get some reinforcements in. We'll see. But guys, we leave it there for today. Leave your comments down below and let me know what you think of the game. Okay? So like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you've been rocking with your boy this long, I really do appreciate you. So God bless you and GGMU. Peace.